it's irrelevant what she considers herself to be. I don't consider. I don't care if she considers herself to be a plant pot. It doesn't matter for the argument in any way. But if you're going to tell people that the horizon's in a totally different place to where everybody else can see where the horizon actually is, how can that be taken seriously? How can she demand respect when she will overtly lie? I, I don't know how the con- <laughs> there can be any conversation with that with that kind did, of person. But that was the connection. Hang on, that was the connection I was making, Anthony and Stingray. She knows. Yeah, she human. does know. No, but no, did no, you ask no. her about the apparent horizon? Did you say, where is the apparent horizon in this image? Yeah, we asked her, where was the horizon? Then she distinguished between apparent and, and, and perceived horizon. So we asked her to plot where it was. Then we showed her what Miles the Liar Davis put his horizon at and asked her why it wasn't in the same place that Miles's was. And the answer is because they've both plucked it out the ass. The horizon is defined. There isn't an apparent horizon. There isn't a perceived or an ap- a, 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 a geometric horizon. Only in your model is there a geometric horizon, but in real world, there is a defined horizon, and we can all plot it, and we can all do it pretty much 100% accurately all the time. So why do we have people that are overtly lying to us, but pretending that they are being sincere, and when they get called on it, we get other people from that side of the discussion defending and saying, well, you don't know that she was being dishonest, when she's literally pissed on our faces and told us it's raining. I was I was merely asking questions, Anthony. I didn't actually listen to the conversation you had, so I don't know. I wouldn't have an opinion on whether she's being dishonest or not. But if you ask me the same question and it's those oil rigs, I would say, well, the horizon in the image is here, but it is not right. the geometric horizon because if it were, it wouldn't alter on different days. It would be a constant. Exactly. But she couldn't do that and didn't do that. And when challenged to explain why she didn't do that, she wouldn't even concede the possibility that it's because it might not be the way she thinks it is. She accepted, or she demanded that we accept, that it, the ball, the Earth's a ball, and this is purely refraction and all that nonsense. She couldn't even agree that there was an, inter- an alternative explanation or interpretation. She was steadfast in her view, dogmatic, and demanding that we accepted it. There's no conversation when it's like that. Well, I can see the horizon behind the second rig, or the, or what I would call the optical horizon. And the QE is waiting to come in. Well, Stingray, that is yes. the issue there. The, the, it's always in the parent horizon, where the sky seems to meet the land or the ocean in this case. Because as you move closer to it, it keeps moving away from it. Well, uh, so, and and also on separate on different days, even with the guy that did these observations, it changes. So yeah. No, no. Let me explain that, if I may. Let me finish my thought. I I live by the Pacific Ocean. I had a boat. I know firsthand how far I've seen. I mean, Catalina Island is twenty six miles away from me. I could see it on days where it's like pixelated, perfect four K with my eyes. Wow, what a beautiful. They, uh, of course, the weather, the conditions, you know, dry air, Santa Ana's, the whole thing is in play. Then other days, I'm fogged in. I can't see nothing. I got to rely on my instrument. We're not talking about that. We are talking about the modus tonin of this uh, argument, which is at a one-foot observer height, the horizon on 3959 radius of the Earth could not be past 1.23 miles. The argument is the horizon if we're on a sphere at a one-foot observer height. As you go higher, the horizon can be further, according to your height. But at the one foot, the limit for it is 1.23 miles. If you have a picture of a horizon, which you just said is beyond the second rig, past the 1.23 miles, then the 39.59 of Earth's radius is wrong. That's the black swan. Now, if it's a foggy day and I can't see more than half a mile, I can't have an argument this strong with you. But it just happens to be that picture was taken on a perfectly good day where at one foot high, the horizon should be at 1.23, but it's past 9.41 miles. Therefore, the Earth's radius is not 39.59. Therefore, the Earth is not a globe. Because everything else changes if you say, well, maybe we're still a globe, but maybe the radius changes. 
oh, then everything changes. And it doesn't work that way. Did you see the other observations taken from the same point with the guy explaining that out of a lot of times coming down here to the same spot, this was the exception? I don't think you know what the argument is. What's the argument that's brought against you? Verbatim. I didn't cite an argument. I asked if you knew a piece of information about the video. That I don't. What the guy I don't, said. I don't care about white swans. That's why I said you don't know the argument brought against you. There's an argument brought against me. Yeah, yes. there's charges brought against you for fraud and lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's aggressive. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I answered you, Stingray. I said that those days were when the atmosphere. Uh, was either foggy or the temperatures were different, and it wouldn't allow you to see past 1.23 miles. But the minute you see past 1.23 miles, that means the Earth grew. Is Wait. the Earth growing? No, it doesn't mean the Earth grew. Oh, okay. No. Well, then, according to the math, at 3959, at one foot observer height, that's wrong. It she needs to be 264,200. 30 miles is Earth's radius for that picture for that day. So the Earth grew to that point that day and then went back to 39.59 on the foggy day. Is that what you're saying? No. Okay, I didn't think so. You don't understand the argument. QE take exactly. over. Exactly. I don't think he gets it. He doesn't get it. Let, let, me, let me explain the argument and the charges brought against you. Okay? <laughs> Modus Tollens. If P, then Q not Q, therefore not P. If the Earth is a sphere with a radius of 3959 miles P, then every horizon distance measurement must be no more than, that's a very important statement right there, must be no more than 1.225 times the square root of the observer's height in feet Q. Not Q, because we have the picture right there that you can see in chat. The horizon distance is greater than 9.41 miles, therefore not P. The Earth is not a sphere. End of argument. Cool story, bro. Not a story. It's the death of the spinning ball space monkey religion. You are here, Stingray, talking about communication needs to get better. You're in denial right now of geometry. Uh, no, I'm not. No one's asked my opinion or asked me any direct questions. I've just been charged. <laughs> and uh, okay, and I'm going to ask you a question. I'm. Yeah, I, 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 I. Okay, I'll ask you a question. Do you believe the Earth's radius is 39.59, as told to us? I have no reason to distrust that. As to whether I think it's fact, I am unsure because it's not something that I've verified. If you were to ask my opinion, I would say the probability is yes. Okay, good enough. All right, so at the Earth radius of 39.59, the horizon that you clearly have already stated is past the second oil well cannot be there. It needs to be only 1.23 miles out. It's not. Therefore, finish the statement. Therefore what? Since the horizon is there and you've stated it and you saw it and you tested it, and but you're not sure about the 39.59, therefore the... 39.59 Therefore, the apparent, Therefore, the apparent radius of the Earth is much bigger or it's flat. Okay, or, thank you. Or there I, is, another, no, there is another option. There is another option if you want to know about that. Yeah, go ahead. And then I'll come back to answering what you just said. But go ahead. So the other option is the density gradient in the atmosphere mm -hmm. and standard or extreme refraction. We see this it, on the Wrong. Basis. That's incorrect. That extreme refraction citation, please. And then which refraction is it? What do you mean, which refraction? Okay, there's five effects of refraction. Atmospheric refraction, what are they? There are not five types. There are five, or you can probably classify them with words, but they are a magnitude of refraction. They are not. They are not. There are five effects of refraction. You're just no, making shit no, up. No, 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 no. Refraction. Stingray, stingray. Refra just wait, 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 
No, no, I do know. Fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I know, I know the words, but the words are irrelevant to what refraction what? is. What? Looming, stooping, okay, steeping, what? these are irrelevant words to describe. You're out of your mind. You're they making relate. crap they, up. No, they relate to a magnitude There it is right there. Refraction. Shut him up. Shut him up. They relate to a magnitude. From the subject matter expert, Andrew Thomas Young, for refraction. While mirages are best known atmospheric refraction phenomena, looming and similar refraction phenomena do not produce mirages. Here comes the five. Mirages show an extra image or images of the mirage object while lo looming, towering, stooping, and sinking do not. They are the five effects of refraction from the subject matter expert. Effects. Effects of what we describe, yes, not types. Yeah, but hang on. The, the key there. point, Stingray, is what's missing from the, the five known effects of refraction. What's not in it? Curved light. Hold on. Hold on, no, Anthony. No, 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 no. Wait Hold a minute, on, wait Anthony. Minute, I don't want to go down the curved light. No, no, no. Just, just, just two seconds. Let me explain my view on it. If you want my view, I'll, I'll explain it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there are, there are two results which we commonly know in refraction. One is its ability to bend in a semi-uniform fashion. No, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not putting up with it. You're obfuscating the point. There are five effects of refraction. You said it was extreme refraction. Do you have a citation for that? Not on me now. Then Can don't. You if you can't what? support what you say, don't say it because you're just making it up. Do you want right. you ask you ask my opinion? Do you want me to? I don't want your you opinion. opinion. No, okay, I, fair enough. I didn't ask for your opinion. I okay. care less well, wasn't about you. it, your it, opinion. Uh, it was tenth, but okay, fair enough. Fair, oh, actually, I can care yeah, less. No. You don't know. You didn't know what the five effects of refraction were, right? No, I did. You said you said extreme refraction. What's that? I would say anything with a K value of 1.1 or more no. in relation to the seven, uh, in, okay. in a magnitude over seven, over six standard refraction. Let's see, let's see the citation supporting what you just made up. Agreed. Of what? Extreme you just effect. made it up. Mm -hmm. Extreme is like saying really or very yeah. much so. Sir, and I'm saying there is a lot of important. refraction. Sir. Oh my god. So you guys so so what you're saying is in this image there are no signs of refraction whatsoever. Is that what is that no, 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 what I'm saying here is is what are you saying? What is your claim? What refraction is going on in this image right here? You only got five choices. Then you don't understand what refraction is, I'm sorry. Oh, I That's don't. I Stingray, just explained it to you. I know using... it. You don't. Stingray, listen to me a sec. What we're saying is that you are conflating the term refraction to include the bending of light. But refraction is defined like the horizon is. Refraction doesn't allow for bending light. Wait a second. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Refra I just gave you the subject matter experts. He just told you the five effects of refraction. Effects, yes. I have this knucklehead telling me that I don't know what refraction is. He just makes up shit. Where'd it, you get extreme it, refraction? Cite it or or shut up. All right. A hell of a lot of refraction then. Oh, well, listen to it. this. Fucking crazy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. A great Stay amount Stay of right. refraction. Jesus. You've, done, you've done a good job of obfuscating the actual argument. You know that, right? Right. No, he does cite the science now, thing, Ray. Hang on, hang Sorry, on, Anthony. Say, say that again, Anthony. Asking you to cite the science that supports you saying extreme refraction. What is the refraction that you're claiming? Right. So if you want me to explain my understanding of refraction, I will do so. No, no. I do not. No, I do I not. I do not want ex you to explain anything. I want you to okay. cite it right now. I don't want to hear your opinion, right? Okay. Because I, just wanna, I just think you're a pretender in. clown. In I fact, I know it for a fact. Make sure everybody's okay with me carrying on the live stream. Stingray? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I don't think I'll be around a lot with people shouting at me, though. Yeah, because you're making me. Get up! 
Well, you're not letting it's me talk, so it's it's a pretty well, we one-sided let you talk. discussion, isn't it? Discussion. Well, we, we let you talk, to Mr. Extreme Refraction. What's the question? Sight you said, your... why is the, oh my God, why is the horizon behind the second platform? Refraction. Refraction. So it's got to be one of the five types of refraction. Which which one is it? If you want me to classify it under the effect, I would say we are seeing looming and compression mirage effects within the effect well, of you looming. Can't, now, we're seeing looming. So define looming. Looming is where light passing through the atmosphere in a graduated sense bends in de in density change. Due, uh, you can think of it as simply as in Snell's law, but Fermat's uh, principle is is the thing that you would want to calculate what's happening to that light. Citation, it please. Matter. Oh, I'll get citation, you. please. Oh, Jesus Christ. We need a citation. We don't want to hear your opinion. Citation for looming, please. What is looming? <sighs> looming is the apparent raising of an object in the distance due to atmospheric refraction. And where, where did you get that from? Can we see the citation? Because let me put it this way. I wouldn't put it past you to miss out keywords. So let's see where you've got that citation from, please. I, Wait a minute. First I'll of all, first, first of I'll all, define this, it. this is... This is Fermat's I, principle. I'll define it for him. Not you said principle. looming. I'm That's gonna Snell's define law. it for him, Anthony. Oh, the image is. Oh my god. Fermat's principle actually tells you about how to not do physical media change, but do it in a graduated sense. Which no, is okay. Fermat's Fermat's principle. Principle. Hey. Anthony. Anthony. Yeah. Could you please stop? Thank you. Looming from Andrew Thomas Young. Subject matter expert, the appearance above the horizon of a distant object that would normally be hidden below it. Right? How is the horizon? You said it was refraction. How is the horizon looming? Anything beyond your eye line can be loomed. That would include an apparent horizon of which yep, was behind that's not the, the I'm sorry, the that's first horizon. Sorry, that's wait, horseshit. Wait, 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 hold on. Can we just let everyone finish what they want to say? I I'm, hey, I'm, listen, I'm tired of QE. I'm tired of you over interrupting me. Just be quiet. Looming, the appearance above the horizon of a distant object that would normally be hidden below it. It's talking about objects appearing above the horizon, not the horizon appearing above the horizon. Stingray. If anybody else wants a civil conversation. <laughs> You're you're done and not, for. And not a take the piss conversation. I am well open to that. Taking the piss. You're a pretender clown. But, and I just but exposed this you. This quantum eraser character yeah, is this, way you're a too pretender aggressive. Clown. We don't need to hear anything from you. And just right? way too. If we want to listen angry. to people making shit up, we'll just invite I will, people. I will have an open. I will have an open. I don't really care what you want. You don't know what science is. You don't know what refraction is. You don't know what looming is. Right. I just showed John. you. Let, let, let me say something, John. Let, let me speak to Stingray. I have actually just muted him and blocked him because that is just way too aggressive. When you're yeah, on communication way too aggressive. and then you, you, yeah. you all you're you do is try and belittle trying to and, play, and, to play and, your and shout at and, and, and even tell everybody else to yeah, shut up. Yeah, you're a you. clown. That's, that's Go ridiculous. back to your clown show. That's not part of a civil conversation. And I apologize civil if I'm talking Civil conversation, you're a fucking fact. clown. And muted him on my side. Okay. I'm just now going to step in and say to the audience, thanks for watching. I'm going to uh, turn the stream off and unmute everybody. So hold tight. That pretender, I'll tell you what, Stingray. You're lucky you're not in my vicinity, son. Freaking mute. You muted me? Huh? Clown show. Yeah, you.